Hi, this is Katie Weeks, your independent, close to my heart maker. And today I'm here to share with you the first of three cards for the February 2023 Stamp of the Month. And the stamp set is called Springtime Borders. And the first thing I am doing is on a white daisy piece of cardstock, I am stamping the little row of um, galoshes or boots and umbrellas and I wanted to stamp that first in archival ink so that it could sit a little bit while I worked on these other pieces and next I'm going to take a piece of ballerina cardstock and I'm going to put that down and then I'm going to add a few layers this first layer has the sun embossed on the top and it's on that bright yellow uh, pattern and then the next layer is a mix-in that looks like rain and then i'm putting down that stamped panel that i've already showed you and then this last piece has a green pattern to it and i have torn the top of the edge so it can kind of look like a rough edge of grass and I'm going to trim that down just a little bit. And then after I adhere the grass underneath those little boots, I'm going to stamp a sentiment on that last layer. So I just want the words from one of the three sentiments that are on this stamp. So that's why I'm only inking up part of it and I'm stamping it in that archival black and it says spring has sprung. The next thing I'm going to add is this darling little rainbow to the top corner. And I have cut out um, seven different layers for this rainbow. There were actually four die cuts, but I also cut the part that goes in between the two sizes for each um, of those layers. So I got seven layers to my rainbow. And I like that because seven is the perfect number. And what I'm doing first is just kind of marking so I can put a little bit of adhesive down on my um, card just to get started. And then I'm going to use a wet glue um, to hold down each of those layers and I'll erase those little marks but it just gave me a little guide as to where to get started and I'm going to use my wet Tombow glue to glue down each layer. As I'm gluing down these layers I kind of want to explain how my stamp of the month cards work. So when you purchase from my website, katie.ctmh.com, K-A-T-I dot ctmh.com, and your order in the United States is $50 or more, then you qualify for the free stamp of the month if you're a VIP, or if you're not a VIP, you can still get it for a reduced price of $5. It is worth $18.95. So it would be considered a D size stamp set. So that is a great deal. You need to order $50 worth of Close to My Heart products to qualify for this deal. And then you get the free stamp of the month. Now you do pay shipping and tax on that. So when you qualify for that special for the stamp of the month, I give you a three card pre-cut kits for cards that go with the stamp of the month. And I have the pieces already prepped for you. For instance, I have cut all seven layers for this rainbow for you. I've already embossed the sunbeams that are on that top yellow printed piece of paper. And I would add any little extras that I have um, on some of the cards. Sometimes I add bitty sparkles or a special ribbon or some shimmer trim. It just depends on the cards that I design to go with the stamp of the month. But I include those and then you would have these videos for the assembly so that when you get your stamp of the month, you can um, have some inspiration for some cards that you would be making. 
Okay, for this next part, I'm going to use a water brush and I'm going to uh, paint on those little um, galoshes or rain boots. So I just squeeze the ink pad to get some ink inside the lid. And then I use my water brush to pick up some of that ink and paint it in the little booties. And then I clean my water brush off between each color and I wipe out the lid of that stamp pad because I do not want to water down my ink pad at all. So I go through and I do that with all four colors of inks. And I believe I used um, Flamingo, Lemonade, Green Apple, and Capri. But um, if you have another ink that's similar or close, you could probably get away with another shade of some of those colors. If it's a darker blue, I would just make sure you add enough water to lighten up the color a little. Um, but you can get away with some of the other colors as well. So the stamp of the month is a great deal and I like to design cards for my customers just as a way of saying thank you for your business and I appreciate you ordering from my website and supporting my small business. If you enjoy these videos, even if you're not one of my customers, I would appreciate you give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel if you have not already done so. That is another way you can support me, even if you're another maker or you have another maker that you order from. The next thing I do is I come in with some shimmer brushes and I believe I picked Flamingo Lemonade, Green Apple, Bluebell, which is retired, and Grape. And I just varied which little strip on each umbrella that I colored in. And I colored in the little sections of the umbrellas so that they were multicolored umbrellas. And I used all of the colors on each umbrella. And it really gives it a whole nother layer of sparkle by adding this to the cards. And then because I'm not quite as perfect on some of my stamping and coloring as I'd like to be, I go in with my white gel pen and I just touch up any little areas that might have went outside of that stamped line. So I'm basically using my white gel pen as white out. And then the last little thing that I'm doing is adding some little white flower sequins down to that bottom area. So here's a few close-up pictures so you can see some of the details that are on the card and I hope you've enjoyed this one. Watch for two more videos coming up in the next couple of days of the next cards in the series. And again, if you'd give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this and then consider subscribing to my YouTube channel here and then Feel free to leave a sweet comment and share this video with your crafty friends. I hope you have a great day.